Hey folks, this is Adria, and one thing I was really excited about when I got my iPhone 3GS was the ability to record video. And I was so excited and I couldn't wait to edit it, but then I noticed uh, it would only allow me to email like short video, and I'm like, hey, I'm taking long video. In fact, I record my weekly show, Ask Adria, on my iPhone. So I went about trying to find a way to get the movies off my iPhone. And uh, someone on Twitter suggested, hey, try iPhone browser. It works on Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. I'm like, oh, okay. So it was a pretty quick download, and thankfully it's open source now. So uh, thanks to Hightalk and NetMage for that. Basically, you bring it up, and the window shows you a listing of, you know, basically how your iPhone looks on the left. Don't worry about all this weird stuff. Um, also, my iPhone is jailbroke, so your directory structure may look different. The important thing is the go-to location. When you click on this, you have uh, right here, camera roll, DCIM. DCIM may look familiar because that's also um, a directory that exists on a lot of digital cameras. So when we click this, it will bring us to the location where the photos are. And in this case, mine are living inside the 100 Apple directory. But basically then, I have access to all of my videos and pictures I've taken. And we're going to go ahead and sort this so we can look at the different sizes. But you'll see here, I have one movie file that's almost 2 gigs. Right, so these are some of the longer videos. So um, getting these off of the iPhone and onto my computer for editing are important. So I'll show you how it's done. We'll just do a picture instead. So let me scroll to the bottom here to something kind of small like this one. And it's real easy. You just right click, you say save as, and then you know whatever location you want to save it in. This has just been so great for me just to, you know, because there's so much stuff that I've been recording with my iPhone, documenting, and just wow. So, you know, try this out. It's free. It's open source. It's great. It's fast. It works on, you know, first generation, second generation, third generation iPhones. So you shouldn't have any problem using it. With that, take care.